Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Time with Heim podcast. I'm joined by our superintendent, Mr. Heim. How are you today? Doing great. Hey, very excited. Hey, little Oklahoma weather. Last week we did the podcast coming off a couple of ice days and, and finishing the week up after some stay-at-home virtual days for our students. And today it's just a nice it's November beautiful. Day. Yes. Unreal this week, what the weather's been like. So. The door has been open, the windows have been rolled down in the cars. It's been yeah, wonderful. Unbelievable. Oklahoma weather at its best. Don't I don't know what ne next week's bringing, but uh, it's going to be different. That's all we Hopefully do know. Hopefully the same as this yeah. week. I'm good with this yeah. weather. It, always the rumor is if you live in Oklahoma and you don't like today's weather, just wait till tomorrow. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> that's right. Now let's start off with what we have been updating our families with every week, and that's our COVID summary. Yes, our COVID summary is on. It's it's there. It's been updated. Uh, the last I looked today, uh, we have 10 active student cases in our district and 13 active adult cases in our district, which are really incredible numbers when you look statewide at what people are doing. So hats off again to our teachers, our parents, our community, the mass policy, everyone working together to keep this thing under control and keep our students in traditional school that want to be in traditional school. Again, we feel very successful with what we're doing with our, our virtual school, AM and PM. But again, we want those options available. We want to keep that flexibility for our parents. And, and, and so uh, appreciate everybody working hard, washing their hands, social distance, wearing masks, doing those things to uh, keep us safe you know, from the COVID and keep it under control. As we know, flu season, strep throat, and some of those things are going away. I went and I was just going to say that we're getting you know, all of those cases that they're not sure, oh, is it COVID or not? But that's a great segue into what we just opened up this week, which is our total wellness clinic at Douglas. Yes, that's an awesome addition where you can go there and get tested. Rumors is it's about 15 minutes for our students or teachers. So again, we're doing things we can do to uh, make things better and to assist and, and make life as easy as we can because we know our teachers are working really hard for this flexibility for our parents and, and we're adding burdens so if we can take some things off your plate we're going to do a great job you know toward our teachers and, and students and parents and we do have more information on our website regarding the wellness clinic um, your immediate family members can go and then you have to have health insurance but it's been i went there and visited this week and that nurse that's out there is doing phenomenal and the patients that come and the family members, they appreciate just having that extra resource instead of having to go hang out at an urgent care or waiting another day to get seen by their doctor. Well, yeah, and then you know if you have the flu, strep throat, or the COVID, and, and those are things, and we're all a little bit paranoid. I mean, you, you know, you wake up with a headache, you're, oh, no, do I, you know, you wake up, you check your temperature, it's 101. You see, you check your temperature, it's 101. We took an aspirin and went to work. Not today. <laughs> we have to change <laughs> Not that today. now. That's right. And that's the thing that we really challenge our parents is, you know, in our health. Uh, segment as well. I'm not a doctor. I do not try to be a, my Google MD license is limited. Uh, I do not try to give expert advice, but we do challenge that to be a changed attitude we have as, as workers, staff, and parents that when you're sick, stay home. You know, we we used to think that perfect attendance was one of the you know one of the most the greatest things you could do is win the perfect attendance. Well, you can still win it. Win it. Do your work from home, but as a as an employee. As, as a child or a student, please don't come to school sick because, you know, it was one thing when we, when we brought the flu to school or a cold and we shared it to everybody, bringing the COVID to school, you know, that you're seeing some super spreader where people who knew they didn't feel well were at work. You know, I told somebody, if, if you go get tested, please stay home until you get your results and you know those are accurate results. Correct. Don't, exactly. don't, don't come back to school until you get your results. Go home and stay home and you can self-quarantine. Just let us know you're quarantining for that day till you get your, your results back. So we appreciate all the hard work everyone's doing. And you mentioned our virtual families. We have our LPS on the go. Yes. You want to talk about what we're doing? Yeah, and, and that's virtual. And, I mean, it's, you can do it online, get, get information online. They're also going to, again, put together the uh, one-stop shop where you can come. Now, we're, we're, on the 16th, we're going to do that at Central Mall. 16th at Central Mall. There will be, and I'm sure they'll add to it, but there will be people there from federal programs to help you with any paperwork you may need. Uh, there will be, last time we had the child nutrition there serving meals. Do not forget, 
we are still in that summer feeding pattern, which means over Thanksgiving break, which is a week this year, but we're getting into a lot of stuff yes. fast. <laughs> Thanksgiving is a week. You can, you can go on Monday and pick up. We got our prepackaged machine in, so you can get prepackaged meals. They're even going to work on giving you frozen meals where you can put them in your freezer and take them out and, 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 and thaw them and, and, and reheat them when you need. And so there's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of information on our website, but also that LPS on the go is one of the, those things we're doing for virtual to make it as traditional as we and keep those contacts together. And for our families that are not uh, virtual, but they're traditional, and you're trying to help your student, you can also come to that event live in the yes. Google online workshops that we have they change every week so yes keep an eye on our social media for that information and on our website now let's talk about impact aid oh yes it's another thing we sent out uh, the virtual cards impact aid is a very important thing in a lot in public schools because as people know schools are funded by tax dollars well if you have a big presence in your school, whether it's military or, or Native uh, American housing or, or Section 8 housing that, that, are, that are government-run entities that don't pay taxes, that's money the school doesn't get. So in lieu of that money, we get what they call impact aid. So we have to gather information of how many students live in, 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 in housing or, 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 or work for businesses that don't pay taxes because of their, their tax status so that, the, so that we get our impact aid. So we have to send those forms out. So it's very, very important that our parents get those filled out and get them back to us. We uh, sent them out originally online. If you filled one of those out, you should be good. We're also sending the old cards back that people are used to. They kind of updated a little bit. They didn't feel like they got very many back. So please fill those out and get them back to us. That's right. And you have any questions, you can reach out to your school and they will be more than happy to help you. We also have a few days that were, you said Thanksgiving break, we're out for a week, yes. which is, you know, the first time that we've done that in our calendar. And we also have a very special day next week that will be out. Yes. That one of the new things for me is a, uh, I've been in this business for 35 years, I guess, kept my student life a while, but I've never been in a military community. And one thing Lawton does is November 11th, which is Veterans Day, which is one of the Great days in, in, on our calendar that, that whenever they decided to start honoring our veterans with a, a federal holiday, uh, that's November 11th, so we will not be in a school. So our families can spend time together on veter Veterans Day. So, so that's don't forget next Wednesday. Correct. There'll be no school at Lawton Public Schools. That's right. And many of our schools are putting on virtual presentations. They used to do them mm -hmm. in person, but because of the COVID situation and pandemic. So keep an eye on your school's website to find that information and share your photos with them. They would love to celebrate all of our veterans out there. Yes. And then don't forget, again, we mentioned it in the other segment. Don't forget. Thanksgiving week's coming up, and we, we are taking the entire week off. That's one of those weeks where when you look at your calendar and you used to go a day or two, during that week they were not real strong instructional days because of the short week and such. So, you know, when you put a school calendar day you, together, you basically find 170 days that you're going to have some kind of instructional days, in parent, two parent teacher plus your, your, your student days. And when you put that together, you get to choose them. So it's not like they're days off. They're just they're not part of the 170, and, and we put those at a different time in the year. So uh, that's hope that goes well for everyone because having the entire week off, I, we've done that. I've done it both ways, being in different school districts, and I don't know that we lose much instructional time. And uh, I think the whole – that gives a nine-day break. I, I think it really gets everybody rejuvenated and ready to push forward to Christmas and man, then it, can you believe it's, it's November? It's already. We're wow. almost to the middle we're talking, of November. We're talking Thanksgiving, and uh, we're and still. Christmas is going to be yes. not too short after yes. that. The Christmas holiday. Break. And again, on those holidays, we're going to do everything we can to continue some kind of meal pattern to produce food because that's you know a, a continuation of this summer program. So uh, we're going to work to serve our community and our students and families uh, in every way we can. Is there anything that you want to celebrate that we haven't shared in our podcast lately? Uh, we're, I, I'm still the state department gig because of the great job our teachers are doing with our virtual, the state department is still wanting us to come do a presentation. We had a state board member, a couple senators and representatives and in, in, in the, in the secretary of education from the governor's office. So basically we had three legislators, two people from the, uh, governor's office come tour and look and, and observe our teachers in action, uh, with virtual and, and look at our schools. 
And uh, those are great things when we're drawing attention. You know, and as I tell everyone, we know we can do better. And we got to do better for our teachers because we have some situations in our virtual that we got to make better for teachers. But our teachers are just doing a great job. It's one thing that's really, you know, our night, you know we're offering night virtual, day virtual, student paced, teacher paced. There's just a lot of things we're offering blending. And, and we're going to continue to strive to offer those things to give our families flexibility and so we're excited about those and it's been such beautiful weather that our maintenance teams and grounds and transportation yep. they're getting some stuff done and it's been fun to travel around the district to see yeah, just and them outside and a shout out you know you drive around i think they've got most of the limbs picked up and that's that's a full-time job for the city and this school and and you know and we're continuing our partnership with the city and we're going to grow that and, and and you know our redos for our schools or makeovers that we continue to draw out monthly at board meetings you know ridgecrest has done, we've really done well but they've painted and done some different things fences we're working on you know we're working with the city on making sure we stay within code on all those but all that's moving along so we, you know we're excited about that the parking lot at the bus barn's almost finished hey any day they're going to start demo in the old middle school That's so right. you're Next gonna week. drive by one day and it's gonna be gone they've already they've already taken everything out of the inside so that'll be one of those things that uh, it's kind of fun to drive by every down and watch and, and I'm sure we'll fly a drone over it or something and get some video of it so uh, we can put it on our website to show people what it, the, the process of uh, collapsing a building it's a bittersweet we get to say goodbye to the old but we welcome the new and then they continue the great work that they have left to finish out the school yeah and that's going to change it isn't it when that gets gone and they they, they landscape that and make that front uh it's going to make it when you're coming especially when you're coming from the west headed east it's going to make that a, a it's going to look totally different uh, when they get finished so. maybe the traffic will get better for them yeah. i hope <laughs> so we're working on it yeah that's one thing i tell everybody that i've learned a lot and if you're in a school zone slow down yes i've i asked for commission but our our local police officers and law enforcement hey got to give them credit yes. safety is always first I'm, I'm not but they they do control our school zones uh very strictly for us and, and that's just a warning to everybody slow down while you're in the school zones uh, for two reasons one it's not f safe to drive fast and two you will get a ticket and i hate to see people getting pulled over and getting a ticket but i'd much rather see people getting a ticket than an accident happen so exactly. please in school zones stay off your cell phone always when you're driving but for sure don't ever get on your cell phone around the school when you're driving and and uh stay Take your time and stay under 20 miles per hour <laughs> That's so right. they haven't got me yet because you know i drive around a lot and go through a lot of school zones and so um, hopefully I, I means you're following the rules. So that's a good I'm thing. I'm working. <laughs> hey, they sneak up on you. I, I, I like I said, I, I have a, I feel for some of those who get caught because uh, they're leaving a red light or something. and They're not even thinking about. It. They're just accelerating on out of the way, and they look down, and you're going 30, and you're like, oh, drop your, you know. But uh, again, hats off to our local law enforcement for protecting and, and, and working towards safety. And and again, uh, man, a lot of great things going on. I'm excited. So just a few friendly reminders for our families. Federal Impact Aid cards will be going home soon. So once you receive them, send them back. If you filled them out, we have those forms already. So if you didn't, take that time to do that. And then LPS On The Go will be in person on November 16th at Central Mall. And we've learned the mall direction. So when we say West Entry, even though it's East for some people, North, it's the West Entry. Look for the sign. We'll be there in what was the old White Buffalo before that. So okay. the Chick-fil-A exit. New, new for me. That's all right. Is uh, there anything else you want to share with no, our families? No, but on the virtual, if you're a virtual family, the impact aid form will be mailed to you. That's correct. Yes, yes. 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 So, so thank you. So continue. Hey, we don't want to forget our, our info at lawtonps.org. Always go there. Go to lawtonps.org the web page and, and get information but if you have questions or comments or just things you want to check on uh you know we we've talked about that communication and we you know we really appreciate it get on there and, and send us an email you know because we're excited we we notice and we see more than ever we have people who watch the podcast or or are, are staying communi up with our communications who who share that information with others when people are out asking questions and we appreciate we appreciate everyone wanting to be a part in, in helping us uh, with the communication and spreading the great word about Lawton Public Schools. We have a great district, a great staff, and great family. So thank you for your time, Mr. Heim. That's thank all you. we have. Hey, thanks for listening, and we're excited. That's right. Until next time, you guys, have next a great week. weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>